Hi there. Welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on the Pythagorean Theorem and its practice questions. And practice questions number one, I guess. There's a second practice questions as well. Okay, so these are practice questions. So what you can do is pause the video, work through the question, and then restart the video and I will answer the question. I'll be walking through the answer. So here we have again a right angle triangle. Side A is 14, side B is 8. You're to solve for the unknown side and the unknown side of course would be C. So pause the video, give it a whirl, and then start it up. All right, here we go. So when we know we're solving for C, so we're going to use Pythagoras, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We're solving for C, so what we're going to do is square root C squared, so we'll end up with C. But if we square root C squared, we have to square root the other side of the equation. All right. Square root of c squared is c. c then equals the square root of a squared plus b squared. Now at this point we just plug in the numbers. So we have the square root of a which is 14 squared plus b which is 8 squared equals. Now what you can do is just say 14 squared plus 8 squared equals. Now you've got a number, so we have 260. So I'm just going to write that down, 260, and that's still under the square root sign. Now on this calculator anyway, I've got the number sitting there, and all I have to do is go second function square root, wherever square root went, right there, equals, and it gives me the answer, which is 16.12. So equals 16.12. Now we've been asked to round to the nearest tenth, so that means our answer is 16.1. Okay, so here's the next question. Again, pause the video. Don't forget your units here. We have kilometers, and so that matters. Uh, B is 6.7 kilometers, C is 12.1 kilometers, and you're asked to find the unknown side. So pause the video, work on the question, and then restart it for the answer. Okay, welcome back. All right, now we're solving for the unknown side, so that would have to be A. So let's write down Pythagoras here. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Solving for a, so I'm going to subtract b squared from the left side. That'll leave a squared by itself here. But if I subtract it from the left side, I have to subtract it from the right side. Now I go back here and cancel these two and I'm left with a squared equals c squared minus b squared. To get a by itself, I square root it, but I don't just square root on this side, I have to square root on this side because we have an equation. Square root of a squared is a, and I end up with the square root of c squared minus b squared. Now at this point I plug in the numbers. So I have the square root of 12, and you don't actually have to put in the kilometers here. So 12.1 squared minus b, which is 6.7 squared. So again, we can just go 12.1 squared minus 6.7 squared 
equals. And that gives you the number under the square root sign, which is 101.52. So we have the square root of 101.52. Now all you have to do is square root that. And we end up with 10.0757. So let's go with 10.07. Let's just write it all down. 0757. You're asked to round it to the nearest tenth. So it's 10.1. And our units are kilometers. Okay. And I believe that is the last question. There you go. And that was brought to you by Wise Guys. Have a great day.